Sopranos. Deep cuts. Season two. You look good. You look uh, like a teenager. <laughs> My therapist says I'm regressing. And I need you to pick up sausage. Yeah, yeah. How many pounds? Hot or sweet? That one. He blames me for everything. I know. Me too. At night, they hit us. How many more people have to die for your personal growth? To the victor belongs the spoils. Why don't you get the fuck out of here before I shove your quotations book up your fat fucking ass? It's my fault, man. I wasn't sensitive to his feelings. Thank you. Good night, my love. The tired old moon is descending. I keep getting these calls from my brother Jack's Jill. customers. Where the fuck are you going? I'll talk to you later, Richie. You want to tell me what just happened? No, we're talking business with the skipper directly. Are you fucking with me? You can talk to him, but not now and never here. How's your sister? Hey, there's no need for that kind of talk. What? My sister. Janice, how's she doing? Oh. Thought you were baiting me, you know? How's your sister? Fuck your mother. You know, if that was my child... You know what? Fuck this! Don't you remember me? You used to yell at me for uh, beeping my car horn when I came over to pick up Janice. Chimps beep. Now, you remember one thing, this you better hear. You want to talk about this old school bullshit about the rules? Well, here's a rule you might remember. I'm the motherfucking fucking one who calls the shots. And you better pay me the respect that I gave your brother, or we're gonna have a problem. A bad one. Now get the fuck out of here. What can I do for you? Well, you can introduce me to the boss. You can talk to me. <laughs> a fucking woman boss. <laughs> Good. You got money for blow, but not for us, huh? Chris, please. Broaden your horizon. Because of you. I want to direct my power and my fucking anger against the people in my life that deserve it. Do you want to tell me what you're thinking? Believe me, you don't want to know. I'm thinking I'd like to take a brick and smash your fucking face in a fucking hamburger. Don't worry. When you asked, I told. But you'd like to smash my face. Not really. It's just a way of describing how I'm feeling. Do you think making hamburger out of me would make you feel better? Mother of Christ, is this a woman thing? Some people are so far behind in a race that they actually believe they're leading. Yeah, yeah, that's cute. You could have killed those girls. Now, that would have been interesting. What? What did you just say? Death just shows the ultimate absurdity of life. What is this? Are you trying to get me to lose my temper because I'm about to put you through that goddamn window? See? That's what I mean. Life is absurd. Don't say that! God forgive you! There is no God. Hey! Where is this coming from? What, what are they teaching this crap at school? Is this this new English teacher, Mr. Clark? Uh, where is he from? Answer me! Oberlin. You want him to read something other than Hustler? Hello? He got to sign The Stranger. You want to be an educated person? What do you think education is? Or you just make more money? This is education. Do you ever think, like, why were we born? Madame de Stael said, in life one must choose between boredom and suffering. Go to your room. And when you're married, you'll understand the importance of fresh produce. Fuck the importance. Oh! Oh. Last of the arugula rob from the garden. Don't drench it in oil this time. Likes to mop with his bread. It's not my fault. I got something for you. Wait, 
What's this? What's this? It's the jacket. The jacket. The jacket. What the fuck you two talking about? We're soldiers. You know. Soldiers don't go to hell. We had sandwiches brought in the other night. Four with ham, salami, gobble gall, one eggplant, and the other with tomato and mozzarella. Yeah, okay. That's six total. There were only five of us. But Tony said he ordered the eggplant, but I did, and I know for certain he ordered the tomato mozzarella. Well, maybe he forgot. No, no, he never forgets. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It's fucking starting. Get back in your office, David. I'm opening my mail, and it's a lawsuit. It's a fucking lead on the building. They're going to close me down. David, not fucking now, OK? They're going to know after this that it's fraud. I'm going to go to jail for this. Get, get the fuck back in your fucking hole. Now! Davey, you're doing a good job. You are speaking shit to me. It's all a series of distractions till you die. I'll put them by the copy machine. Nice rack. Born again, Christian. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I thought you were... I thought you were Bobby. Why didn't you just call a plumber? With what? My fucking toes? Relax. Relax. Let it go, Lim. 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 Lim, you're flexing. Let it go, Lim. Lim, that's it. You're flexing. You respected my father and you respect Richie. Those who want respect, give respect. See, he just told you to shut the fuck up. And he told me to go fuck myself. Imagine. Getting a facelift <laughs> one week later, you're in jail. Can you imagine that? You get a facelift and one week later, you're in jail? I want to see Anthony at the doctor's office tomorrow. What are you looking at? I'm in awe of you. This is too fucked up for me. Oh, wait a minute. What the fuck is Richie telling you all this? He thinks I'm with him. Really? What gave him that idea? It's what I wanted him to believe. I've been playing him. I seen this coming all along. That's why I made a big deal of that coke. I raised a non-issue and he fell for it. So you're like a double agent now, huh? What'd you do with him? We buried him. On a hill. Oh. Overlooking a little river. With pine cones all around. You did? Come on, Janice. What the fuck? What do you care what we did with him? Huh? Right. I'll just fucking kill myself. It's... I've been so fucking depressed. I don't want to hear it. Well, you're going to hear it. I've been careful. I got this down. I'm mind fucking these donkeys like you wouldn't believe. Believe me, in your childhood, she's inflicted serious psychic injuries that are still there. <laughs> Poor me. I'll have you.